All right, today it looks like we got a little bit of a longer video. And let's see which one this is. 213, you know him. Bomb thrower, javelin, BQ. Ah, this guy, okay. So, needle missile punish, machine guns, up close for ACS break, and he also has the pocket knife. He plays a decent game, if I remember right, with his pocket knife getting him close. But he is kind of a victim of circumstance, because I've played this AC for so long, and you'll see why I'm talking about this. He goes straight for the full ACS. But due to factors, he's not getting it. And of course, having an assault armor on that, because he has a pocket knife, they get away from the curious. No way I'm getting that close. And I don't have to. Now that I know he has assault armor, that's less of a threat. This is my spot. That's okay, he'll make it easy on the enemies. There we go. For some reason, and it's not just him, but the pilots do this too. They assume that fight isn't easy to take, and they want back. They do not understand that they throw the fight away like that. If you have assault armor, and the other guy has a melee build, you need to make sure that, that melee build is not the bomb thrower or the blades. Well, the uh, oscillating blades that throw stuff out there at about 200 to 250, because they can just outrange your assault armor and do no you will do nothing to it. Alright, next fight, 213 again. This entire video is going to be him, so get used to it. This one feels like, and this is the one I'm thinking, which it is. Yes. This one feels a little weird because, again, this is like a classic dual rifle AC, like from back in the day. And this guy tries to play it a very mid range standoff. And I don't remember how well he does. But I remember it's. I'd at least pay attention to him. He wasn't a complete pushover. So. He does. Yeah, yeah. He's doing a decent job of staying, like, in the, the longer range of playing machine guns. But his big problem is he did not comprehend how to fight a bomb thrower AC. That is this aggressive, I guess. I don't know. Because he, he gets away pretty well at times like that. He knows he, knows he can run. It's just when he turns and burns, he ends up get, being the one getting hurt. And it's a pretty... It's not a... It's not the easiest fight. I still gotta be careful, because if he breaks me, God knows what he's gonna do. But... That's the first round. I do remember this being a shutout, so the second round should go to me, but... making rookie mistakes at the beginning of the match and I have my card lock up just to get the target initially for that missile. Now for those of you curious, that is pretty much 213's big thing is that the javelin missile is probably the best thing in the game. Above it. Bomb throw to punish, missile to reset ACS, dodge the missile, fortunate. Actually dodges the bomb floor by going vertical. That's an excellent thing to do. Pop the missing weight and boom. Activate your shield too late, laddie. Ah, oh, this guy from the previous video. Well, this looks like a three-partner, and I don't remember how it goes, but it's not 213. This is Gray Fox. It looks kind of like 213 on the frame, but the, the rest of the AC is different. The head core and legs are the same. Everything else is uh, different animal entirely. Down to the chip. So, same game plan he had last time, except now he's fighting a dedicated mid-range for me. And, again, the attache is a good weapon. People don't like it, but it does the job. Especially if you pair it with a decent ACS weapon or a couple of missiles that are pretty decent. The other uh, perfect RG I've seen on the channel does exactly that without the pulse missiles, and it does pretty good. Bro makes a big mistake right there.
play in the cover game waiting patiently. Oop. William with the last AP you got. If you are in a position of strength like that, there is no reason not to push in. Even if you got a little bit of a range build, guaranteeing those things hit matters. Good luck can do that. I wanted to take a different approach this time to see if I could change up the game. I won that last one, but I was not satisfied with how close it was, and it turns out that was a bad choice. So again, same game plan, hold it mid-range, try to like wiggle waggle what he's got, do some back off dodging when I can, but he's making it hard. Not to mention the fact that I've got to be real careful about those missiles, because one cool thing will break. Speaking of breaks, he can't capitalize. Now that would have been very, very bad. But he's been ready to go. And the pulse missiles can, can be pretty damaging too. It's not like getting slapped by a blade or something, but they can they can really be damaged. I biff the hit. Shields up, and that's game game. Done, done, done. Alright, third round. I'll try the same task again, just thinking maybe you won't notice it. This probably did more damage to me than it should have, but here we go. I wanted to be more aggressive in this fight, though. I was not happy with the way the last one went. Regardless of whether the ACS breaks happen or not, kind of, I was kind of convinced at this point I was just going to go how it goes. He didn't seem to be capitalizing on the last match, so let's fear it. Maybe that's a mistake, but that's how this wound up playing out. He really goofed the ball here. That's it. He knew I had assault armor. He locked himself in place with a shield that couldn't take it. Take it easy, guys. 